going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and today i'm playing some more dragon ball z dokkan battle and today we're doing boss rush stage five again for the bajillionth time but today i'm actually running the shadow dragon team which i have not really had much time to play with um it's nowhere near on the same level as my fusion team I just, let me just say that now it's kind of unfair for me to say i like the fusion team a lot better because my fusion team is literally almost perfect my gogeta super saiyan 4 is uh 80 my intelligence gogeta is 100 my gold tanks is going to be 80 percent when i get the orbs my team basically is ready to go but as far as my my team with uh, my shadow dragons it's, it's not even like fully maxed out yet in fact my freaking omega shenron is only sa8 it's not even fully maxed out with sa so i still have a long way to go but i figure you know what let's test out both teams so i'm gonna go ahead and jump the boss rush and see how i do against uh the five bosses that i guess as of right now are the most difficult ones so i guess boss rush five is the most difficult mode let's see how this team fares against this setup so here we go comment section below are your team Shadow Dragons or Team Fusions and why? Let me know why in the comment section below. This is kind of an interesting one to ask. So what, what, it, what it seems like is if you have the right cards, the go-to setup is going to be easily uh, Team Fusion because if you have physical Go Tanks, Super Saiyan 3, if you have Intelligent Gogeta, if you have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then all the other cards, it's they go through, get together so well. It's the second additional Super Attack, that's what I'm talking about. They, they go together really, really well. Whereas Shadow Dragons, you don't have to have every single unit because there's so many category options in the setup where you can run many different setups you want. You can do different Shadow Dragons, you can do what I'm doing right now where you run actually Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on the same team. There's so many options. And I think that's ultimately what it comes down to is the fact that you have so many different ways to run it. Here's what we're actually going to do. Because we are physical right now, we're going to go ahead and rotate out our boy Shenron over here. And hopefully, I'm not going to get supered at the end. And hopefully, hopefully, I can just one-shot him here. But yeah, like for me, I like the team fusion just because my team is literally perfect as far as like what I want with units. No, we can't use Vegito, Vegito Blue, Super Vegito, but it's still great, really, really good. And uh, I can pretty much take out any event out there just because my team is so perfect. Like, look at this. This is my Gogeta under uh, the Shenron lead. It's going to be well, I guess technically it's the same setup. It's got the same boost, but it's destroying left and right, left and right. So that's why I like the fusion team better. But again, I'm one of those rare cases that has all the perfect units. If you don't have all the perfect units, you're not gonna want to like this. You're not gonna like to use this team. Essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Ah, uh, this sucks. Uh, okay. We know what? We are going to. Oof. Oof. This is actually a tough choice. This is. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna run a ghost or a freaking one of these. There we go. Let's run a quick Icarus over here for two turns, and then we'll put you here in the front. Let's swap you out like this. We'll do this. We'll do that, and then we'll do we'll do this. This is a terrible setup. Unfortunately, the first round is gonna be the hardest for me just because of course he's super in the first turn too It's gonna be the most difficult one just because I got a lot of physical units on this team uh, Not really a lot. It's just I have, I have four that counts as a lot, right? Yeah, it's a lot uh, But once I get into the next rotation I can power through this fairly easily again I said this in my last video the thing I like about ooh, nice two additional supers um, The thing I like about the category meta is the fact that you don't have to rely on the same ooh, with a third attack he wanted, his, he wanted his revenge for that super attack. You don't have to rely on running the same type. You have the freedom of switching up the different types. You can run damn near a rainbow team if you want on a category-based category, category based team. So I like that a lot. But still, uh, this is a terrible setup for me right now just because it's a bunch of physical units and Goku Super Saiyan 4 and he does a lot of damage. It can be really, really disgusting. But uh, let's see what happens here, actually. You know what? We're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Because something tells me he's going to try to super me right now. And when he does, I got something for him. Let's see if I call the right. First one, no. And honestly, between Gogeta attacking and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I should be able to take him out, but I might still be wrong. So let's see what happens here. So... So it didn't call the super attack right, which sucks. That sucks a lot. As long as he does not super uh, Omega Shenron, I'll be okay. But I think he'll be dead by the time... Yeah, he's going to be dead. With the additional attack, but unfortunately, it wasn't a super. But that's fine because Omega is going to finish it off here in a second. With his, um, his uh, minus energy ball. Blast it. It still sucks. Like, I want to do global videos with the same team, essentially. Which I guess would be the same videos. I just want to play mostly on global. But it, it just hurts my soul every time I look at global and I see that to be released. Like, ugh, come on. Bandy Namki, what are you doing? What is Bandy Namki doing? Alright, so right now we're on the same pace to beat this as we did with the, the Fusion team. So if you guys remember, it took me 19 minutes to beat Boss Rush 5 with this team uh, yesterday. Well, not even yesterday, but the other day. The other day, we're not going to use an item here because I don't need it yet. If he supers me, it's going to do a lot of damage, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. 
Maybe. Maybe I regretted this. Nah, there's no way he's gonna do 100k damage. Maybe he's gonna do like 90k tops, but I should be okay. I should be okay here. I think I saw a special link here too. I, I, I could have sworn I saw a special link pop up. So uh, I forgot what the weaknesses are for some of these events. So don't mind me if I don't remember. All right, we're gonna keep Vegeta here in the back, even though he can tank most of it because of his stupid defense. You know, I know we're not. We're gonna put you in the back like this. We'll do. We'll do this. We'll do that. Uh, I really should start healing up, but I'm just I'm being cocky right now, and that usually gets me killed in these videos. But that's okay. If I die, I'll do it again. If I die, I'll do it again. Fortunately for uh, freaking Tech Vegeta over here, he's going against the wrong wrong fusion character. See, I guess that's probably why people like this team so much is the fact that you can run Gogeta and Omega on the same team as well as Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I think that's the one main reason why, and the fact that you can have actually a lot more options as far as um, which teams to run. Let's do we'll do this. I really should heal. I should heal. I'm not going to heal. Should I heal actually? What's my defense looking like? Uh, it is not that good. I mean, it's decent, but it's not good enough. Uh, yeah, let's take a sense of being. Let's see how much damage he does to me, because I feel like he actually has the potential to kill me. So let's see what happens here. Also, I want to see if there was a special link that popped up, because I don't remember. There's a super attack. There's a super attack. 61k? I, I would have been okay. So there was a special link. So this is actually probably going to kill him then. Is he just weak to GT cards, or is he weak to, like, uh, bad guys? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I did this event, like when it first came out. So don't mind me forgetting what the weakness actually is. But he's he's knocked out. I feel like because this is gonna give me actually a uh, a boost in being able to beat this a lot faster than I did with Boss Rush uh, Five when I did the Fusion Team. But we'll see what happens. And also in the comment section below, let me know your best scores on this event. Let's do this, that, and then uh, Goku. You can have these because this is gonna fill up my Dokkan bar. A lot faster. Actually, I might be able to pull off a Dokkan attack next turn with, um, if I don't kill him, that is, with Omega Shenron, which is going to be great because we'll have the special link and he'll be linked with Omega Shenron or with Sin, I mean. It's going to do crazy damage, but I think this actually might kill him. Oh, who's he supering? Who's he supering? Oh, that's my, just kidding, that's my Vegeta. <laughs> don't mind me. Yeah, he's almost dead. He, I'm still going to get the super attack off, which is going to be great because I'm going to be able to heal at least because I'll, I'll be able to get a Dokkan attack, but. There's a super attack. That's fine. I'm going to tank that, and I'm going to heal it next turn when I do my Doka move. No sweat here. No sweat here. All right. Uh, let's let's do this exact setup like this. There we go. Watch me not get this freaking Doka attack. Wouldn't that be hilarious? It would not be hilarious. Actually, I wouldn't mind, because then I can pull it off. Yeah, there it is. I can pull it off next turn. All right. Let's see what we got. 12k. And we're going to finish the job here. This is going to do a lot of damage. I feel like it's going to do like 4 or 5 million damage if, from the looks of it. But again, to be fair, it's a special link. Uh, I assume he's weak to extreme GT cards. And by the time you're commenting, I'll already have looked it up, so don't worry about it. You know, I'll know. So, it's fine. Alright, let's we'll see what we got. Here's the link, special links. This is going to do like 4 or 5 million damage. This is going to be disgusting. Oh, 7 million damage! 6.9 million damage. Goodbye, Vegeta. You out. You, you got to go, my dude. You got to go. Actually, I might be able to beat this a lot faster because, uh, especially with how many physical units I have that I can use on the last uh, run to my advantage. And I still have Gogeta for all my team so I can actually dodge um, freaking Kid Buu's super attack spam. This might be a lot faster. It's funny how I learned how much I like this team already. <laughs> I barely even used it. Let's do this. We're going to rotate Vegeta out here for a little bit. And then we'll do this. We're going to rotate Vegeta out here a little bit. Um, because, well, actually, I don't have a reason to rotate him. I'm just going to rotate him just because I can. All right, see what we got. See what we got. This is a lot of fun. By the way, I think tomorrow, or later today, I'm going to record the actual video. I'm going to do a race with Nano. Uh, I mentioned, I think I mentioned it in yesterday's video, but we haven't got a chance to sit down and record yet. I'm going to do a race with Nano, but we'll do uh, Shadow Dragons versus the Fusion Team. And I think we should probably run a Boss Rush 5 or something. I don't know. If you have any ideas what you want to see the actual race on, feel free to let us know down below. But uh, we're, that's definitely coming at some point in the next uh, day or so. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be a lot of fun to do. Because that will give you an example or like a better look to see when both teams go up against each other. Now keep in mind, just because one team beats another team faster does not make that team better. It's, it's all about how the team plays, how you play, and what kind of teams you build. So keep that in mind. Because I remember uh, people always try to say like, oh, because you beat Boss Rush faster with this team, that team is superior. 
It doesn't really matter. As long as you beat the event, it doesn't matter how fast you do it. But it's still cool to see an example of two units go back to back to back to back and uh, complete these events. So that's one of the cool things that you get out of it. We'll do this, and then we'll do that. I really need to max out this trunks. I have all the dupes for them to get an SA like 10. I just, I just haven't got a chance to sit down and uh, get some more incredible gems and get the reversal uh, orbs, whatever. Ah, no super attack. That's the one thing that sucks about freaking Shenron is he doesn't have a guaranteed super attack um, uh, for that second attack. It's never guaranteed. And I feel like this is going to be a waste. I should just attack freaking Salsa, but whatever. Because he's, he's, yeah, he's dead. Get wrecked. Two million. Look at that with the critical. And then now Trunks is going to pretend he can do something against Agility Salsa. You're not doing anything, Trunks. Sit down. That's why you got hit. This is what happens when you do something. All right, what we got? Uh, let's keep these two together. So we'll do this. I definitely want to keep this guy uh, with my freaking sin because they got a great linking. Great links. You know, the cool thing is, is with this team, you also don't really have to worry about... Well, granted, you can beat any event, technically. But you don't have to worry too much about... Um, about... Uh, what do I call it? Healers. Because if you play your cards right and survive long enough, because you have a variety of teams you can use, you can actually just rely on healing with the um, with the Dokkan attack, which is nice. Let's do this, that, and uh, this. What's my defense looking like? It's got to be pretty decent. 34,000, I'll take it. And then he's agility. This is going to destroy him. Poor guy. He didn't see it coming. Poor guy didn't see it coming. Please super me. Super me, do it! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Psych! Oh, it hit me! No! It's not supposed to do that! Whatever. That's the one time you're gonna see Gogeta not dodge. Watch because I said that, it's gonna jinx it, and for the rest of the match, it's not gonna work ever again. But that's fine, I got my revenge right here. Look at that, one point. He survived that?! What?! Okay, whatever. It's fine, Omega got it. I'm surprised he survived that. That, 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 that was that 1.8 million damage there. Oh. It's scary how tough these events have gotten. Like, this reminds you of back in the day when Broly had, like, what, 900k HP, something like that. And now, like, even, like, the weakest units do that much damage. Let's do... We'll do this, actually, like that. Because I feel like, uh, if I'm gonna... Actually, I probably should have just kept it the way it was. Whatever, it's fine. And then we'll do this. We'll do this. I haven't even had to worry about healing. It's, that's terrifying, like, how powerful these units have gotten. It's scary! And the worst part is, well, not, not the worst part, I guess the scary part, the scarier part, is the fact that these units are only going get, to get more stronger and stronger as we go. The events are going to get tougher, and it's going to be insane, like, watching these cards. I mean, think about this, a year ago, we thought 100k damage was a lot. In a year from now, if the game is still active, which I feel like it will be because this game is super popular, we're going we're gonna to look back and be like, wow, that unit only hits for a million? That's weak. It's crazy, isn't it, if you think about it? Wow, that guy did, like, no damage on me. Uh, in that turn. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna oh this is actually perfect. We'll do this. So we'll do that. I should have given those actually to uh Omega, but whatever. And then we'll do this. Now with the crazy defense I have of the Vegeta, I can be I'll be able to easily tank a super attack if he supers me at the end there. And if he supers Gogeta, there's a good chance, uh high chance I should say. 50% chance. Never mind, he's dead. What was I worried about? You know, it's funny, like when I go through, go through boss rush, I think to myself, man, I wonder Will I have any problems? And like so far, I have not had any issues. I think I used like one item, one item so far, and that's just because I had the type disadvantage at the beginning, which kind of screwed me with the team that I had. But like for the most part, I had zero wars going through this event. All right, what we got? Let's do put you in the back over here. That for you. You can have one of these, and uh, whatever doesn't matter. He's gonna get knocked out in this first freaking try. It's uh for no reason. I mean, only the 36k, but still, like, come on, man. Come on, man. You're, you're just being a nuisance at this point. At this point. At this point. At this point, I can't speak. Ugh. He survived, but the second additional attack got him. It's fine. The beautiful part about Shenron, though, is like, even if you don't get that additional attack as a super, combined with the, the damage you do in the first attack, that's still a lot of damage. Like, that, it's just like Cooler. It's just like Cooler. The only thing that sucks is it makes you really wonder how it's Cooler going to be when he gets released. Like, do people even care at that point? Like, Will he be worth summoning for? I say yes, because he's a great unit. And uh, running an Extreme Fist team is a lot of fun. Please dodge that. That's twice now, Gogeta. You had one job. You were recruited to this team to have one job, and that is to counter super attacks. And you failed me twice. I can't believe this. Blast him. Just, just get clear the feel of him. Wow, he actually didn't do it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then he's going to get the boost, which is nice. But yeah, like, between the two units, I got to say, I, I like uh, Gogeta a lot better. Just because I think he just does more useful stuff. Like, it's cool with Shenron how, you know, the team can be very much, um, have a variety of ways to run and more options. 
But like I'm telling you, once you have the proper units, which again, not everybody has, but if you have the proper units, Team Fusion all the way. So again, in the comment section below, I want to know, are you Team Fusion or Team, um, whatchamacallit? Let me know down below. Let's do, we'll do this. And we'll do that. I know it's kind of stupid to not put um, uh, Vegeta there, but I don't want to split uh, Shenron and Shenron and Sin. Of course, there, there's a super attack. That's fine. I'm going to be able to tank the rest of it, so that's fine. I might need to use a Sensor Beam next turn, but we'll see how that works out. We'll see how that works out. And the other reason to put Vegeta in the back is, despite being able to tank most of the stuff, I don't want to keep him there for uh, for Angel Goku to, to to do a super attack on him. That that could be devastating. Granted, he can he can tank everything else. It's still it's still kind of scary. Also, that was three attacks, three attacks from my boy Shenron over here. All right, here we go. We're gonna get into the fun stuff now. Let's see what, let, let's see how we do. Uh, part of me really wants to. Yeah, part of me really wants to. Uh, you know what? We're not going to yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're gonna be cocky here, okay? We're going to be cocky here. And let's see if I if this is a mistake. Let's see if this is a mistake. So no damage, no damage, no damage. Okay. So far so good. I just wish if he supered me, he would have done it against him and not Shenron. But whatever. I was able to nullify most of that damage. And with that, uh, let's see if I can get two super attacks with this, because that'll be greatly that will greatly help me. If he supers me, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna be dead. Let me get a third attack and be super. No! Got the countdown. Oh gosh. If he supers me, I'm dead right here. And this is gonna be a mistake. No! We didn't get supered! Woo! We're still in this. We're still in this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now this is the part where I would normally be cocky, but I'm not going to do that. Because I know I don't get my health back until after the freaking uh, rotation is done. But we're gonna go ahead and do this and that. And then uh, one of these. This should actually end the match. To be honest, this should end the match. And we're cutting it really close to my record yesterday. Really close. I don't think we're going to be able to beat it. But again, uh, I got really lucky with that run. I feel like I, if I do that run myself, I won't be able to get that score again. But whatever. It's still a lot better than 24 minutes, which was my original score back in the day. So let's see how much this hits for. I'm going to go ahead and say 1.5 million. Wait, that's my... No, yeah, this is the friend. Yeah, 1.5 1.5 million is what was my guesses. And that's the first attack. Remember that. First attack. 1.1 million close enough, but hey it, it, it knocked him out he, Well, technically it would have been 1.5 because if he attacked again if it was a regular attack It would have been 1.5 if it was a super attack. It would have obviously done a lot more, but Doesn't matter because he's dead. All right final round uh, let's, let's take out boo here and see how we do against uh, The intelligence boo events, which by the way, I still have not pulled boo. I have not pulled boo. Just want to point that out Let's do You know what since you're attacking? Yeah, let's just do this. We'll do that Keep you a link with him. Eat all the cookies because uh, he likes to throw out a bunch of food at us for some reason. And we're gonna go ahead and rotate out Shenron here for uh, two two turns. Two turns, yeah. So by the time we get to what's his face, intelligence boo, I think he should be back, and, and then you know we'll have <clears throat> a much better advantage. And he gets water, but it's fine. Uh, we're almost done here. All right. Unfortunately, I didn't get the good rotation on this because I wanted to be able to knock this man out as soon as possible. But whatever. We'll do this. We'll do that. And then we'll do this. All right. You know what I'm ready for, honestly? I'm ready for Bayonet to release Boss Rush uh, 6. And like I said, 6 is going to be terrifying. Keep in mind, he just hit a freaking physical card for only 64K, which is a lot, but not enough compared to you know how much he should have hit for. Uh, back to what I was saying, though. I really want Boss Rush 6 just because the challenge is just like, it, it, it excites me. Like, I know I can beat it, but I still want to be able to go through it and do it with various teams and that because I think it'll be a lot of fun. So. I feel like it's around the corner. It's got to be around the corner. It's terrifying, though, because Janima's dodging is going to be the biggest factor in that mode uh, of how fast you beat it. Let's put you up here. You over here. We do that. This. And then uh, Trunks, you don't really matter because we're going to be able to knock him out here. You know what sucks, though, is I'm going to get freaking uh, hurt because I'm about to knock out Buff Boo over here. And then Kid Boo's next. And I'm going to have to go a whole turn. Of getting supered uh, by freaking Kid Buu, because I won't be able to dodge or counter with uh, my main my main attack my, my my main attack units. Those my main attack units. I can't speak. Uh, let's do we'll put you over here. You know what? I think we can tank it. So he does 90, 90, 90. Uh, does he do that much? You know what? Just in case, we'll we'll run. Let's run, let's, let's do a Ghost Usher just in case. Just in case. Because I don't know how much I can tank it. I know I can tank pretty well, but I don't know how well I'll be able to tank it. So we'll just do that. And then uh, that one for you. 
Alright, watch this actually just knock him on the first uh, try and I'll probably wasted that freaking uh, Ghost Usher. But whatever, I'd rather be safe than die at the last couple minutes of the freaking boss rush. You're out! No, not yet. Super attack? No super attack. Just regular attack. Third attack? No third attack. Oh, it's fine. But between these three, uh, I should be able to knock him out easily. I feel like actually what's going to happen is, is he's going to survive with just a little bit of health. And then Gogeta is going to counter a super attack and that's going to kill him. Calling it now. Just kidding, he's dead. <laughs> just killing. Shenron got it. Shenron got this. Now, unfortunately, the rotations I wanted for Intelligence Boo, I'm getting right now. And the one I wanted for Boo, I'm about to get next. So it's like they swapped. Whatever, it's fine. We, we still got this. Let's put uh, let's put you in the back over here like this. So we'll do that. And then this. And then uh, you can have the blue ones. Honestly, I'll be I'll be actually surprised if he doesn't die. Of course he's super, and the one I don't want him to super. Actually, no, I want him to super him because I got the type advantage. So this one hit that hard. I think, maybe, 70k? 40k, actually, even less. Psh, I was worried for nothing. I was worried for nothing. Doesn't matter, because next turn he's gonna get knocked out the second I get my proper Shenrons uh, and my Sin. Technically both Shenrons. Shenrons in position, and, and then for now we're just gonna, ooh! Just kidding! Just kidding, he's dead! He got, he, he, he lasted one round! My man's had no chance here. Bam, disintegrated into nothingness. All right, and we're done here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is Boss Rush Stage 5 featuring the, uh, the Sh Shadow Dragon team. So let me know in the comment section below which team you're on again. It's funny, I feel like uh, in the beginning of this video, some people are going to be like, yeah, I was on Team Shadow Dragon this whole time, or maybe Team Fusion the whole time. But after watching this, you probably change your opinion, in which case, if you do, let me know down below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like in the comment. 21 minutes. Again, my, uh, I clicked out too fast. My fastest score is 19 minutes on that, so maybe I can beat that if I really build out the team and get my SA to, uh, to 10 and also get some orbs into my Shenron because he has nothing. Um, but I'm going to come back to this again at some, at some point in the future and see how it does with a proper team. For now, this is kind of like my janky team. And it did pretty well. Anyways, I hope you have fun. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the day. My name is Ryan Style. See you guys next time. Peace.